one thing that I do when I'm running these bikes as they're coming up to temperature is just check out the radiator and how well it works. On these radiators, on the left hand side here, there's a baffle plate. Just here, there's two rivets you can see just here. And the baffle plate blocks this left hand tank because the coolant comes out of the engine into the radiator here, it goes across the top, back across the bottom and out here. So this plate stops the coolant going like that and bypassing the radiator. You can tell how well this plate works by the, the way the radiator heats up. As the engine gets warm, this part will get hot, this part is still cold, and the tank on the other side is still cold. When it gets to about the thermostat opening temperature, which should be around about 65, 70 degrees, on this ST4S it showed 68 when the temperature stopped rising and that you could feel the thermostat open, <clears throat> you'll feel this part here get hot and the, the right hand tank also get hot. Sometimes you'll feel this get hot before the right hand tank and on few, few occasions I've seen bikes where this side is clearly hot and this side, the right hand side is so cold you can put your face against it. And that's all about this plate. If this plate is allowing coolant to just bypass straight through, the coolant isn't going across and back across and the bike will overheat. Oh. So it's always a test worth doing if you've got the running with the fairing off is just put your hands on the radiator, both sides, while it's warming up and just see when you feel heat in the right hand tank and if that's before or after or how much after you feel heat at the bottom on the left hand tank.